what's up guys we are back again with the number one most annoying deck that clash royale has ever seen it can't be countered because you've got rocket cycle with earthquake and princess all of that damage goes directly on the tower and there's no spell shield obviously your opponent's gonna get really frustrated and they're gonna get serious and they're gonna spam stuff at the river right into night skeletons electro spirit tesla tornado they're not breaking through they'll be breaking their phones so let's go jump straight some games and assert some dominance <laughs> And a huge thank you to everyone that's using Creative Code Sir Tag. You guys allow me to upload daily videos and massively improve the editing. Just do it! So this deck might be a little bit toxic. Not gonna lie, every single one of our cards does damage without our opponent being able to touch it or stop it. So Earthquake Cycle, Rocket Cycle, and Princess of the River, this is peak toxicity. Our final form, if you will. So I'm gonna go for Tesla here, and we're just gonna play defense. I know that if he spams more cards at the river, we can easily rock it. And oh wow, already gonna give me the value with the Earthquake. So now the Knight is something that he actually has to defend. Believe it or not, Knight can be a win condition <laughs> sometimes in these really crazy situations. So I'm gonna go in for a Princess, an all Electric Spirit here, and then the Bandit just, you know, dashes towards the Electric Spirit and not towards our tower, finish it off. Ooh, should've been one tile higher. I'm sorry, tower. I'm sorry for your damage. Fallen, but never forgotten. Wow, that Magic Archer, that'll be forgotten fast. So remember, I think he either goes in for a Valkyrie or a Skeleton Army. All right, Valkyrie it is. Can we Tesla here to keep the Princess alive? I don't know. Yes! Yo, that blade looks so close to the Princess. But she's staying alive 24-7, 365. And her sister is back at it again. And this guy can do nothing but laugh. He's like, I hate you, Jake. I hate everything that this deck stands for. You are the epitome of toxicity. And I, I understand. That's kind of what the deck is built on. If you go for Rocket, Earthquake, Princesses, I mean, no one's going to enjoy that. No sick, sadistic person in Clash Royale is like, yes, this is the deck that I want to play against. So we'll go in for Skeletons on the Spear Goblins. It'll take some damage. It's okay. Yo, seriously, keep giving me that. I'm about it, never doubt it. Now we go for another Princess of the River and we just keep getting value. I am so happy about this. In fact, I could tornado the, <laughs> the Valkyrie closer. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, I'm actually gonna tornado it away so it doesn't finish off the Princess. And then we're gonna get a log out of him most likely or arrows, yeah, it's fine too. So now no Valkyrie in cycles, that means he has to go Skeleton Army, right? Nope. Oh, I made a prediction, but it failed. <laughs> It's okay. It's still a vibe. We can skeletons in the middle. We can solve the riddle and we can stop that banner from bolstering through and getting any value. Princess of the River again. It's the play. It's the strategy. It's the maneuver. 24-7. 365. You guys know the deal. You know what's good. You know what's happening. We're, we're gonna earthquake that. Oh, that's beautiful. We literally earthquaked and tornadoed back the magic archer and said, no, not today, sir. What is his win condition? Seriously, like, is it just bridge spam? Oh, that's not going to be a good time for you. Oh, you are not happy. I want to see the crying faces. Where are they at, brother? Where are they at, man? <laughs> it gets a little bit more spicy when we Electro Spirit and we stun the Ram Rider, too. Oh, my goodness. So he thinks that I'm going to go for Princess of the River, so he's going to predict it. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we've done to him. He just sees Princess at the River in his nightmares at this point. And I don't blame him, to be honest. It's kind of, kind of a vibe. So... If I had Firecracker, I think the deck would be even more toxic than Princess, but Princess gives gu guaranteed value, right? Like, Princess can give you more value than anything else. Uh, remember, he's got Rocket, so there's really no way for him to break through at all. And he's dropping the Ram Ride on the wrong side, so I'm just going to Rocket Cycle him at this point. I'm like, yeah, you know, why well, do that? That's fine. Oh, that's terrible on your end. You think that you can outcycle the, the man, the myth, the legend with the Rocket Cycle. You think that you can outcycle the Panda Power. We don't have the Panda shirt on, but... You guys, huge throwback to that. The panda power was unstoppable. So we're going to princess. We can easily go for skeletons. He's just going to keep spamming because he's upset. And I don't blame him. I would be pretty upset if I was playing against this too. Prince is going to be able to finish that off. And I think I just go for a Tesla. And Magic Archer doesn't give you enough value. Arrows are pretty solid, but you know, it's okay, man. We just tornado you back and we say sayonara to the Ram Rider. Wow, Magic Archer at the river. That is an aggressive tactic that I haven't seen before in a while. So all I have to do is go in for two earthquakes and I win the game. This guy's played really well towards the end, but you know, it is it is kind of inevitable. We are basically the Thanos of Clash Royale with this deck. Skeletons are coming down. He's definitely gonna rage quit at this point, so I'm just gonna EQ and I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's what's up, dude. That's what's good. Just rocket me. Come on. I know you wanna rocket me eventually. And we tornado and we rock it off and we win the game. GG, well played and peace out, buddy. 
Pleasure playing against you. I love this deck. It's so much fun to play. And you just know that every single opponent that plays against it, they're going to be copying your deck and playing it on ladder too. We're making Clash Royale a rocket place. Rocket City. Hey, jumping into this game against Lucas. What's up, my dude? We're going to sauce out of good luck because you're probably going to need it as soon as you play against this. This is Rocket Royale. We've evolved Clash Royale to its next level. So they're going to change the loading screen. They're going to change everything. <laughs> I'm gonna go in for a knight in the back and we'll see what he's gonna do. I guess you're just gonna goblin drill me first play I don't really appreciate that behavior man. Oh, this is tragic. I think that we take a ton of damage here We're gonna have to tornado those away and maybe the prince is able to finish off the goblins. Okay That's the best interaction that we could have possibly had because I cycle my knight because I am a potato But it's also kind of fine because I can tesla here. Oh, this tesla is amazing It's gonna be able to shut down the wall breakers keep the princess alive with the knight and we get counter push so we're gonna get counter push in the right hand side. Let's get it, baby. Let's get this bread. Electric Spirit. Skeletons here, so we shut down the Tesla. Yo, this Tesla is not gonna be tickling us anytime soon. Come on, skeletons, you know you want to. I should have tornadoed the Tesla. No cap. If I tornadoed the Tesla and the Fire Spirit. No, the Fire Spirit would have still connected to the princess. Yeah, I, I, I just didn't really understand that. It's all good. The princess at the river. He is definitely gonna keep spamming me because he's a savage. Oh wait. Is that Tesla? That's the most weird thing I've ever seen in my life. The Goblin Drill glitched out on the Tesla. Did you guys see that? Or is that a figment of my imagination? No way, that was insane. So we have to Electric Spirit here too. And then I also probably want to go in for Skeletons afterward. Yo, I just lost the <laughs> But one thing that was really cool about this, just 100% being honest, how many of you guys have seen a Tesla and a Goblin Drill interact in that type of way? I mean, there's no way to come back to this one, but that was pretty Mimi. Later. So unfortunately, there really isn't a way to stop Goblin Drill with this deck, but we will bounce on to the next one and we will hopefully assert dominance there. Hey, so jumping into this game. So I love seeing spawners when we've got Earthquake. There's nothing that brightens up my day more than Earthquaking on top of a Goblin Hut or a Furnace. So he's gonna graveyard me and that's not gonna feel very good. There's a 99% chance when you see a knight at the river, it's either gonna be a balloon or a graveyard coming at you in a couple seconds. So I could princess at the river on the right hand side or the left. I'd rather go left right now because we still have the knight. Maybe we can make some more damage happen. Are you gonna bar barrel? Are you gonna cannon cart? What are you gonna do? Oh, let's go. All right, so we could tornado that back a little bit further. Wait, that actually kind of worked because now we have more time to destroy the, uh, the goblin drill. Completely calculated guys. Even our misplays are completely calculated. Obviously not a misplay. Not a misplay. Why did I say misplay? You never heard that. So <laughs> I'm in a bad spot because uh, I've taken a lot of damage from the fire spirit, but it's okay. I think we can electric spirit here. Stop that fire spirit from connecting and then go for an EQ here. Let's go, baby. Let's get that value. No, savage. You absolute animal. Fire Spirit is giving him so much damage on us, but I think we can vigorously Earthquake this man out from full HP. That's kind of going to be my game plan right now. He could end up having a Spawner plus Goblin Hut clone deck, but I haven't seen clone in so long. Ever since Giant Skeleton got a buff and everyone was experimenting with it, asking if it was good or not, people have figured out, nope, it's not that strong. And then they went back to uh, the original sauce of Goblin Drill and all these other really toxic cards that eliminate everything. So I'm going to go Skeletons. I don't know if that's going to work out well for us, but the Knight seems like it's doing a decent job against the Goblin Drill now. We lost against Goblin Drill before, but never again. We bounce back here. So Spear Goblin's just going to end up slaughtering us mercilessly. We could Princess at the River if we feel real adventurous right now. Do we go other side? So then he gets counter pushed in the wrong lane. That's always a play. Let's vibe with that. And then we can Earthquake here. Finish off the Fire Spirit. Let's go, let's go. So if we start princessing in that lane, it might be the worst play ever. I should have just princessed in the lane that we had all our, all our damage in, right? We would have gotten all of our damage concentrated. I was hoping he would drop like a cannon cart or an actual unit. Now he's going to go Goblin Drill again. This man is so toxic with that card. I really wish I had a Valkyrie in this situation. But if I drop Knight, it's still going to get Fireballed, right? <laughs> no matter what, it's just going to get Fireballed. So we're going to EQ. I probably should start to rocket on top of the Fire uh, Spirits in the Furnace. That might be the play. That might be the strategy today. All right, so he's definitely all in again. I think we can have to go for this. Maybe the Tesla is going to be able to save our booty. Let's go, Tesla. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, Canacart's doing so much damage, though. Can I Princess at the River and make this work? Is that going to lock on a tower? No way. He's not going to have Canacart. 
What does he do? Hunter. Oh, that's a brand new card that I didn't want to see. <laughs> I was asking him. He's like, yeah, dude, I got you, fam. Don't ask. I deliver the dominance. 24-7, 365. So if we rock at that, he doesn't get counter push. That's always a vibe. Oh, my goodness. That's almost beautiful. Almost majestic. I just need one more rocket, and I win the game with an earthquake. So, dude, are you kidding me right now? Give it to me. Give it to me right now. And I mean, don't give me a goblin drill. That's, that's kind of what I'm hoping you don't do. But you're not listening to me. You're being rude. You're being a little bit selfish. He's going to fireball. The fire spirit's coming down. I need to win this game. Don't let me lose, baby. Let's go. So I thought that it was impossible to win against Goblin Drill decks, but here we are winning against it. That's what I'm talking about, guys. We bounce back. Hey, we got another game here. So the Royal Guard, is he able to defend the Rocket Earthquake Princess cycle? Probably not. It's just not possible. I mean, it is possible for us to lose the game, but it's not possible for us to ever, you know, have our spells countered. Oh, let's go, baby. That's what I wanted to see. You're making everything that I wanted to happen in life right in the one little rocket away. That's awesome. I didn't even know. I was about to say fireball. I stopped myself. I'm like, we are not running fireball today. We have evolved to our final form. We are a rare species of Pokemon. Also, I almost tried to stop the baby dragon from crossing the river. Imagine how disastrous that would have been for me. It's all good, though. I think we just activate King Tower here. So, yeah, that's potato on his end. That is massive potato plays. We love it. I don't think he gets any damage on us. He gets tornado damage, but does that count? Let's go Prince of the River. <laughs> Let's add insult to injury. Whenever your opponent's tilted and they're upset, you just go Princess of the River and you're like, ah, oh, there's like a 50% chance that he just rage quits right now and just breaks his phone. Most of the time, people just see that card and they're like, ah, oh, dude, this crap again. And I've got King Tower. So, like, he drops a Lumberjack into Skeletons or a Knight. He gets a negative trade every single time. So, I love this. The other thing that I love about this deck is I Electric Spirit at the River and it does a lot of damage to the tower. And they're like, wait, can't really activate King Tower without feeling like a potato. Can't really activate King Tower without feeling like a potato. Oh, okay. I guess I guess you can activate King Tower and feel like a potato. That's fine. I'm about it, man. Just do it whenever you want. <laughs> I'll Princess here to finish this off, and then I'll Tornado uh, on the other side, and we'll shut down the balloon easily. No questions asked. Snack and a half, my dude. I wonder if we're able to shut down the Inferno Dragon, too, with the Electric Spirit and the Tesla. Come on, Tesla. Start tickling him. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, okay. I thought I was screwed for a second, and then I realized that I wasn't screwed because I had the Tesla. <laughs> that was a top 10 anime betrayal. My cards almost lost me the game there, but he's about to lose his mind. Yo, that knight has actually evolved to a win condition now. That's crazy. I love this game. I actually love this deck. There's nothing more fun than playing a deck that's just this just ridiculous. You would never expect a Princess Rocket Earthquake deck to work this well, but fundamentally with Tesla and these cards, it's really hard for your opponent to ever break through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, come over here, buddy. Meet your friend Rocket. And uh, maybe not that friendly anymore. But Pleasure to meet you. But that was, that was pretty fun. <laughs> so we're able to stack Teslas like it's our dream and uh, make it a meme. So let's stack Teslas here. Shut this all down. Go in for an Electro Spirit if we want. You know, Rocket. Whatever we want in life, we can make happen. And that's that's the best part about this deck. Your opponent's probably going to start rocket cycling. Uh, or not rocket cycling, spell cycling you. But you're like, yeah, how about another Princess of the River? You probably weren't expecting that. You've only seen it 25 times today. But how about another one? And then we rocket cycle him because it just doesn't make sense to do anything else. GG, well played. And we give him to Peace Out Girl Scout, of course. Because that's, uh, that's what our iconic rocket cycle does. GG, well played. And have a good luck in the rest of your ladder session. Because you really didn't have good luck here. Starting off the game with a bowler in the back and then getting rocketed. That's not the way you want to start your day. Hey, jumping into this one. Why has this guy got so many trophies lower than me? Come on, Clash Trout. What's up with that? Why are you trying to make me lose all my trophies all of a sudden? One little Larry is going to activate King Tower. But we're taking a lot of damage because I misplaced the Skeleton Barrel activation. It's okay. We'll still vibe with it because we get the King Tower activation. And we're running Rocket Cycle. So any King Tower activation with us is a vibe and a half. The Electric Spirit's going to make the Knight a win condition. Let's go, baby. Knight, make sure that you make your dominance known on this map. I could Princess of the River, but there's a chance that he tries to defend the Skeleton. He's like, oh, this little Skeleton might get a hit. He might just be drunk or something. I don't know. There's a limited chance, but it has happened before. So I'm going to go for a Tesla to finish that off. I'm not going to leak any Elixir. I'm just going to drop it as quickly as I possibly can. Go for another Knight at the River. Electric Spirit. If we can cycle back to another Princess, this guy would be like, what the heck is this guy doing? What is going on, Jake? You absolute madman. We're going to Earthquake so then the skeletons from the witch do not spawn. And that's what I'm talking about, baby. 
priorities in life earthquaking a witch or earthquaking a building wow okay i guess this guy probably doesn't have a building he's gonna have the fastest golem spam you've ever seen he's gonna drop absolutely everything at the river and i can feel it coming in the air tonight he is literally about to throw it all down so generally against golem we have to use our princesses and tornadoes wisely if we want to win obviously he can tornado me he can finish off the princess i don't know what he's gonna do arrows wow all right well i guess we can stack up a decent defense here with tornado to pull back the golem and then princess and electric spirit afterward we want to be able to finish off the nightwish so then the electric spirit is able to destroy all the bats that's the vibe that's the strategy i don't know if it's going to work but it's looking okay we take a lot of damage from that flying machine though but the princess is still going to be able to focus it sometimes the princess will just keep going her merry way along the right hand side and ignore all the stuff on the left how many times has that happened to you guys way too often for me Obviously, you need to earthquake that as quickly as possible so that the princess is protected. The princess protection program will never fail or falter here. It is against our religion to let her die. Unfortunately, I can't say the same about my skeletons. They will be sacrificed for the greater good against the witch. I wonder if the witch takes the skeletons and she's like, yeah, you know what? Those skeletons are pretty good. Let's just reuse them for us. <laughs> it's like the, 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 the secrets in Clash Royale that you never know. The witch actually converts your skeletons into her own wonder that would be uh, pretty saucy okay so i can rocket everything here i think that's going to be our best tactic here for sure um i want to rocket and uh then tornado afterward if that rocket hit everything that would have been a vibe the princess is still alive right oh jeez. oh jeez. come on now get get off me get off me bro get off me bro all right so if we go in for a tesla we're gonna be able to shut down the fly machine and we're actually winning this right now if i princess at the river we get enough damage to the point that i'm able to like earthquake and rocket him out right that's a vibe what is he doing why is he oh he's gonna clone i feel it i know it i sense it wait why are you skeleton doing there you you absolute madman you savage you certified sir so you could fly machine me i just don't trust this guy anymore there's so many wacky things that could happen but i'm just gonna rocket i'm gonna believe i'm gonna believe that we can do it I'm gonna believe. Okay, that's just terrible when you're at it. You don't do anything. <laughs> it's gonna cycle so quickly. I'm gonna tornado that back. I'm gonna night. I'm gonna get back to rocket and we rocket away with the win. I can't believe out of all the things he decided to go in for a golem at the river. Like, that thing's just not gonna reach in time. But, but the skeletons. No! No, I was memeing him! I was memeing him! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, that was way too close for comfort. See, that's what would have been an issue. If he just went for a skeleton army and a clone at the river, I would have probably lost that. And then I would have had to go in for like a tornado, earthquake, all these different things on defense. The only thing that could have been bad for me was that exact play. Go me at the river to give me a false sense of security. So then I think I definitely win with a rocket cycle and not even try to defend. And then the game is somehow close. Like, subscribe, and have an incredible rest of your day.